in this episode. I'm not quite sure what this is though. Oh, it's faceted. No. Is that the biggest stopper I've ever seen? I've got to show the boys this. That's crazy. I really want to go mudlark. Hmm. Hello from the Moonraker Mudlarks and today we've come back to a lovely stream we've been to before and we have James with us as well. So we're going to have a little look up and down this stream and see if any of the recent storms have found anything. Um, and yeah, let's see what we can find today. Taking everything off. <laughs> oh my goodness. What have you found? Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Stay still. Oh, that's a lovely little horseshoe, isn't it? What a lovely little find. Well done. Look at that, James. A horseshoe, fantastic. That's the lucky number seven, and the sax comes from Saxon mythology. Uh, as the horseshoe has got seven holes in it. Yeah, and they're lovely. Great find, well done. I'm on the trail of surface finds while the boys go and search the brook. I can see a few things up here. So my little quest will continue and I'll see if I can find a good productive area. see some more things but these old sets have kicked out just a bottle an old sauce bottle nothing exciting just yet however it is exciting that there are things up here so I'll keep looking it's another little hole over here, what's that? Oh, it's an old neck of a bottle here. And some broken pottery. It's another sauce bottle just down there and bits and pieces. So I'll keep looking. So. Again, getting older, but still machine made. Oh, 
and a light bulb. Why do these always survive? What do we have down here? An old medicine bottle and the obligatory, oh and broken, jam jar. Wonder what else I can spy along here. Oh, something down there. I might go risk it. Bring you back. Now this is a bit older. Just a surface find. There we go. It's another surface find. <sighs> this place could be quite interesting when this dies back a bit more. What do I have here? I wonder. I wonder what it is. Old. Uh, another machine. Sauce bottle. I think it's broken, which is a shame because that would have been older as well. Let's see, the more I look, the more I see up here. Just found this in the water, and it is actually a little Vaseline because it says cheese bra on the bottom. We have plenty of these, so I won't be taking this back. And what have you found there? I have found a solid tyred cart, axle with wheels, that I pulled out with a 500 kilogram magnet. And it's a wonderful piece of industrial archaeology. Brilliant. And it's got HMC on each wheel. Brilliant. Is any difference or not, I don't know. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, for a change, please let them know what it is. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this is though. Oh, it's faceted. No! Is that the biggest stopper I've ever seen? I've got to show the boys this. That's crazy. And what have you got in your hands what? there, dear? No jar, I've still got remnants of a label there. Oh, yeah. Oh, so it's square pickle. Yep. Uh, I'll give it a quick swill off. And it's a lung tonic. Nice. And this one you might like. No hands. Oh, it's got a vulcanite in the top. Is it a vulcanite or? Is it one of the, I don't know. Oh gosh, it's really Who's heavy. That? Who's that? <laughs> Maybe one of those wooden ones. Yeah, they've got a name, haven't they? Wooden stopper. Yeah. Well, no, they've got a special name. Um, not sure. I've got the remnants of a label one as well. Oh yeah. There. Nice. Internal screw thread. Do you just want to marvel at my gigantic stopper? Ooh. Uh, holy moly. <laughs> I thought it was a doorknob. That. Look at that. It's huge. That this, is. This is going to feature on the video like 400 times. That is amazing. <laughs> it's like, isn't that a beast? What? What is? My stopper. What stopper? <laughs> Give it back, you. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Let's see if that will. I just tweak it slowly. We might have to work on that. Oh, oh it's coming. I'll do it slowly. Oh, I think. I think it's coming out. <gasps> yes. <sighs> I think it's a vulcanite. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Have a whiff. One minute. Just stop. Oh. Oh, it's 
smell you that. You can smell bad. that. No. Oh, that smells like the inside of. Well, what's okay, gonna I'm going to cut there. Bye. <laughs> You're on camera now. It's cheating. So after my little scale up the mountain. They were kind of just normal bottles, but I really like this because it still has its label on it. Oh, look at that. Try and preserve that. You found anything good yet, Dave? Oh, I hope. just fell down. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Oh, I found something really good. Really? Really good. I can't give it to you. Why not? I'll hold it like that and I'll pass it to your little hand. My little hand. Give it. Oh my blimming goodness. There's a, a tiny little stoneware. Missing his hand all oh. That's so lovely. Well done. Get it in there. It's quite a nice bottle there. Unusual neck on it. Quite blobby. Dave's hmm. causing a landslide here. What have you found? And it's coming down the chute. And it says from United Breweries. Well done. That's the 1930s one. Yeah, I reckon. I just, James just noticed that the pudding bowl, suet bowl I found has got writing on the bottom, which says Malling. And Dave is showing me. I think it's the mood. We're off of a Oh, tin. yeah. Possibly. I'll put that on my little finds bag. Look, a paste pot with an actual label still on it. So I've just pulled this out. An old jam lid. You can see a jar over there. This is a stretch of stream where Dave did his danger leap before, so I try not to laugh at the memory. So majority of the bottles I've found so far do appear to be pretty modern. That is a very thin glass, machine made. But this one though, looks a bit older, possibly. It's very heavy, but I think it's just absolutely full of river mud. So yeah, I'll keep having a little look. See what else? This is this could be interesting. They're, they're coming up the wrong side. That was the side Dave was when he decided to do his danger leap. He ended up flat on his ass in the water. Well, James has made it. Dave's putting it off for a bit longer. Oh, look, it's not spring, it's autumn. <laughs> well done. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. So, James is going to have a little go at magnet fishing over there because it's a bit deeper. And down here, I've just spotted an old. Cola shovel. And, and considering the history of the place, that's quite a good find. An 
old pram wheel. Goodness, what else is going to be in this brook? Spotted something over here. It's probably nothing more than a paste pot. I've just got to wait for the water to settle so I know where I'm looking. There we are. A very dirty paste pot. And a little. Oh. Apothecary. I think it's got a slight crack in it, but and that in the bank over there. And oh. a little cotton row ink. Nice. Quite a nice shaped one. Got the ridges on the top part. I'll we'll clean them up when we get home. See you later. Hello and welcome to our roundup. I really hope you enjoyed our video um, and in front of you here you can see just a couple of our finds. Um, so I'll start with the big bottle that Dave found. It's a lovely plain amber bottle with a vulcanite stopper again plain. Um, when I was washing this out um, it definitely contained turps in there which had congealed and gone really yucky so I think that's what Dave was smelling. Here is the little pudding bowl I found with um, Malin printed on the bottom of it. CT Mailing and Sons Pottery was originally established in 1762. It was, for many years one of the UK's largest and most modern manufacturers of utility wares, particularly earthenware jam jars, a market that Mailing dominated until the 1930s. That amazing, massive stopper I found, which I originally thought was a doorknob, cleaned up beautifully to reveal clear glass and some kind of decanter stopper maybe, but it's the biggest one I've seen. I genuinely thought that was a doorknob when I first of all saw it. Here's a little toy wheel that Dave found. I haven't cleaned it up too much because I didn't want to remove it too much of the red paint on there. Here's my star find. That lovely little horseshoe charm is cleaned up beautifully though I can't find any hallmarks on there so I don't think that it's sterling silver. I'm really glad that when I clean this bottle that the label stayed intact. Isn't it gorgeous? George and Company Limited was located at Old Porter Brewery, Bath Street, Bristol in Gloucestershire. Brewing began on the site since at least 1702. Isaac Hobhouse established a substantial porter brewery in the 1730s and was later joined by Philip George. George and Ricketts in 1816, registered as Bristol Brewery George and County in February 1888. The business was acquired by Courage, Barclay and Simmons Limited in 1961 with 1,459 tied houses. Known as Courage, Weston, Limited, for a while. The brewery closed in 1999. Some buildings remain but most of the brewery site has since been redeveloped for housing and commercial uses. Now this one, I did film, or I thought I filmed it, but unfortunately my camera started to go wrong during this lark and I took pictures of my face instead. At the time I wasn't wearing glasses, but I thought this was just a 50s style little jar. It wasn't until we got home that Dave 
had a look at it and thought, you know what, I think that might be uranium glass. And he was absolutely right. Look at that. This is the second complete uranium glass jar that I found. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at it. It's competition time. So here we go. Here's the names of all the people that have entered our uh, surprise giveaway. So I'm just going to click on here now and good luck to everybody. And the winner is Vintage Dreams. I'll leave uh, my email in the bottom of the comments and um, please get hold of us to win your prize. Well done. We're going to have a new giveaway. Please like subscribe and share our channel and when we hit 1000 subscribers we will be giving away some more of our amazing finds you must be subscribed to our channel to enter